Hi everyone, Crypto Cathy here and I'm joined by the amazing Hans Conan. Thank you so much for being here today. Really, really, really excited to speak to you and just get into the nitty gritty of everything. Have a great conversation, find out how you are transitioning from Digibyte, being one of the co-founders there to Pivx Dow, how you're finding everything, how the future looks for Pivx and all that good stuff. So it'll be great to kind of have you introduce yourself to everyone and tell us a little bit about yourself. Feel free to tell us something that we don't know about you or anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. And, you know, it's always a pleasure to talk Pivx. It's always a pleasure to talk DAO. So, you know, this is absolutely, for me, it's it's a nice opportunity and a privilege to be here. So, first of all, uh, thank you for that. And uh, welcome to the audience. Uh, good to see uh, everyone. Uh, for those who do not know me or not know me that well, my name is Hans Kuning. I'm from Amsterdam in the Netherlands, and I've been in the crypto space for about seven years now, which makes me not only look like a dinosaur, that makes me a crypto dinosaur, I guess. <laughs> uh, um, my way into the crypto came more or less by the ways of technology. In the early 90s, I worked for an American telecom company called AT&T. And that was sort of a cutting edge with technology and telephony and uh, ICT internet and communi uh, communication technology became more and more advanced uh, in our day-to-day -day lives. So I was on the, on the cutting edge of what technology is. And I've never really looked into what technology actually, how it works. For me, it's more important to how technology actually can benefit our lives. So I was always in the forefront of emerging and nascent uh, technologies, which obviously made me stumble upon Bitcoin, which made me stumble upon blockchain. And here we are today. Wow, that's amazing. Amazing, amazing. You've got some great experience in the space and legend in the technology space. <laughs> Seven years in crypto, that's insane. That's, yeah. You are literally ahead of the game. I find like with, <laughs> you are, honestly, because I find with crypto, even now talking about crypto and talking about blockchain technology and talking about all the developments and how blockchain technology is going to change the way the world is, not needing a bank, so many different things such as that. Right. We're still so early. So being seven years ahead of that, you literally, Literally, we're just so well ahead of the game, which is always great. I think that's such an advantage to know these things before everyone else is talking about it. Because there'll be there'll be a time in the future where this is going to be next to normal. I actually see a time in the future where everyone's going to be talking about it. People are going to be making their payments with Bitcoin and crypto. And it's just so not being in the space early is always great. Great. Correct. Um, Mind you, I never had a gray hair before I met Bitcoin and blockchain. Oh, really? <laughs> no, no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they suit you. <laughs> um, so what made you want to join PivX? Coming from Digibytes, I know you set up Digibytes. So what was the whole transition process and why you wanted to come to PivX? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Um, I was one of the co-founders of the Digibyte Foundation and Digibyte, like PivX, has a great um, gate community. It's a decentralized project and it is, has a lot of engagement and traction from its own, own community. And with Digibyte, we found that the community actually needed a voice, a vehicle to re either represent them, but also to give them voice to direction and clarity within the Digibyte blockchain. So we found it a Digibyte, Digibyte. And personally, I always think that people should not stick too long at a certain project and also make place and make room for people with new ideas and, and new insights. Mm -hmm. So there's always someone who can kick the can slightly further down the road than I could. So I was uh, in that sense uh, uh, happy to uh, part ways uh, from Digibyte, although you know it's always a special place yeah. in my heart and that will always remain, uh, that will always remain, of course. But I'm also a person who is polyamorous if you if you for the lack of a better word when it comes to to blockchain because i think there's so many amazing great projects around mm -hmm. i think you know bitcoin and litecoin and digibyte and cardano and pivx they're all extremely great projects whom i also favor very much so i think it's it, it's not like football that you only have one team yeah uh, for me it is something that that made me it, it makes me passionate about about governance of the decentralization about DAOs and and luckily uh, there's so many 
great projects to choose from and get involved um, uh, with. And for me, it wasn't necessarily that I was seeking uh, a new opportunity to get involved. Um, it just happened that um, a, a few months ago, a good friend of mine, uh, Ziga Basquero, uh, asked me to come into one of their chats with PIVX. And we spoke about governance, we spoke about decentralization and how we need to make sure that we interact with people in the community. Mm -hmm. And that, um, at the end, someone just asked me, so so why don't you actually come join PIVX? Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and that's that's actually how it happened. I wasn't seeking it, PIVX wasn't seeking it. <laughs> it was just, you know, the, the right match, the right time, the right the right opportunity. and and. Yeah, I just in that um, in that moment I decided, yeah, why not? So we explored opportunities, and they gave me a great opportunity, and and also made made clear that I was able to define my own role, which is sort of what decentralization is uh, uh, in in the core. Uh, so my focus will be on on community and on DAO and on governance. And um, yeah, I'm really excited uh, to be part of the, this great team called Pivx. Oh, brilliant. And we're so excited to have you. That's very, very exciting. It's funny how um, PIVX found you. So your friend invited you to an event and it just, it was kind of just a natural flow. Almost like I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, that makes it, that makes it, that makes it so, so great. But I think you also, um, I think you also asked me why PIVX specifically. Yeah. And, and I think that actually warrants a bit more, more clarification, a bit more answer that, rather than talking in general terms about decentralization. Um, I think privacy will be one of the key issues of our lifetime. I, I agree. At the moment, we have, have a lot of issues with, mm -hmm. with our climate, uh, with people migrating over the world, mm -hmm. uh, with insecurity in the financial uh, system, with inflation. But privacy has been on top of uh, one of the top three issues for the past three, four, five years consistently yeah. worldwide. And wherever we go, where, whatever we do, we leave a footprint, uh, mm -hmm. whether it's a digital footprint or whether it's digital dust. And digital dust is is only your know, metadata, uh, which is not necessarily relatable to you directly, but we always leave that digital dust. And a lot of people are not necessarily aware of that. Mm -hmm. um, and I like PIVX, agree that, that privacy is a basic human right. And yes. it's ignored, uh, it's infringed, it's it's frowned upon, it's trampled upon. And I think that we need to make a stand and we also need to build an architecture and provide an infrastructure that people who choose, who elect to have a certain degree and a certain level of privacy, that we should accommodate that. And that's why I think PIVX is such a great opportunity and why I think it's such a great project because it addresses that core principle of uh, of privacy. Yes, 100%, 100%. I love that you I love that you touched upon that because privacy right about now is such a hot topic in a crypto space. We've seen Correct. so much happen um, with the whole uh, Celsius, FTX, there's loads of things happening in the crypto space with privacy. And the great thing about PIVX is that they pride themselves on the whole um, people's rights, your protection. Correct. Privacy is so yeah. important in a crypto space and the protection right. of that. So I think that probably helps sway your decision to join PIVX probably because right. of the whole, yeah, how important privacy is. And it's definitely going to be something that is going to be a hot topic. It really is. But it's right. more, more people are talking about ways in which they can do things. Um, so I think that's really, really great that you touched upon that. So thank you for that. <laughs> so it would be great if we could kind of talk about blockchain as a movement, blockchain technology, how we think it's going to change the world, how it's already changing the world. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything else? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> no that's, that's a great question. It, it's a great <laughs> set of questions. And and I, I appreciate that you actually bundled the question because you, you can't take that, that question apart. It, it just comes in, in, in multiple I'm levels. Scared. So I, I appreciate you ask, asking that question. Well, first of all, do I see it as a movement? Yes, absolutely. It is a, a massive uh, sign of the times. Um, and if we just look at, 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 at history, uh, let's say even this, this, this century, um, I think that, that we live, live in an age where trust, or better said, the lack of trust uh, has become a big issue. 
um, when my generation and probably your generation grew up, you were always told, you know, um, uh, the policeman is always right, the school teacher is always right, the doctor is always right, the vicar is always right. Then you had trust in institutions, you had trust mm -hmm. in people uh, individually. That luck, that trust has been has been waning. And politicians, for instance, uh, the media, uh, mm -hmm. fake news, it's it's rife throughout society that is a lack of trust. Um, is that good or is that bad? I'm not making a judgment call on that. It's just making an assessment of. Secondly, we also see that more and more people seek um, self-reliance, independence, um, and uh, not only financially, but also in, in growing their own produce, for instance, yeah. uh, or generating their own electricity. Mm. And lastly, and that is, is linked to the privacy, we see a massive movement towards what's called SSI, self-sovereign identity, which mm. in, 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 a, in another word means that only I can dictate who and when can see data I would like to volunteer. So I'm in charge, I'm in control, and I share, I volunteer data, I give up privacy when I want and how I want. Um, and those three things combined actually turn out to be what blockchain is in a nutshell. So it was, an, 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 in that sense, sort of an accident waiting to happen, which has been catalyzed over the past years, for instance, by the banking system uh, defaults, uh, by politicians, by botched elections, by so many other things um, that it became a viable uh, alternative. So in that sense, I would say that that movement is is unstoppable. Yeah. But um, will it change the world? Well, yes and no. I think yes, but we do not know yet and we do not okay. know for sure. I think the early signs are definitely there and the early signs are positive. We see major companies incorporating some sort of blockchain technology, be That's it in them. DeFi, in fintech, uh, real estate, logistics, supply chain management, and so forth. You see blockchain actually being incorporated on. Also, we see in our society a strong drive towards disintermediation, or in other words, peer-to-peer. -peer. Why do we need to go through all those chains? Uh, let's say if I make a, a bank transfer to you, that goes via seven or eight different yeah, uh, process. Uh, banks and, mm -hmm. and cycle and, and processes. You know, yeah. why, why is that? Why, why do we need that? And they all take the time, they all take the money. You know, it, it's it's it's, it's exactly. complicated. It's not really really necessary. And and furthermore, I think why you also see blockchain already is that uh, digitiza digitization of assets. Mm -hmm. um, I think NFTs are definitely driving that because NFTs are digitizing everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and um, you know. Some, sometimes you think, okay, interesting, funny, but it is actually a sign of the times that blockchain is incorporated more and more. And lastly, I would like to see say is, is Web3. Um, yeah. And Web3 also has a very strong link and, and affinity, open source transparency, for instance, with blockchain and the blockchain movement. So uh, the long answer is uh, yes, I definitely see blockchain uh, uh, getting roots into real life and into our society. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I think it really has in so many ways. It'll be interesting to see how far it comes. Like in a couple of years' time, I know a lot of people are always talk about metaverse and they're talking about what they think they will see. But it'll be interesting to see what actually plays through the whole process behind it, how people take to it. Not everyone likes change, so sometimes when you are telling people instead of relying right. on the bank, for example, for transactions. You can yeah. be your own bank, like modern day pirates, all this kind of stuff. Not it's not for everyone, but it's for a lot of people. Like I know a lot of, um, I know a lot of people have taken onto it, and we've seen so much already. But it will be interesting to see, um, ten years from now, like how things will be and and things like that, because right. we make predictions, but none of us really know hundred percent for sure. So that's what yeah, makes it so correct. interesting. To be fair, correct. <laughs> yeah, correct, correct. Perfect. So let's talk a bit about DAOs. So people that are new to DAOs. I don't know too much about DAOs. What would you say the most positive thing about having a DAO would be? Like, how do you think it contributes to the whole blockchain and crypto ecosystem? What would you say is your favorite thing about it? Um, to me, the DAO, the decentralized autonomous organization, is is more or less what what embodies blockchain. Um, if you look at what blockchain is, it's peer to peer. It's consensus. Um, that means that 
uh, each vote is one and all votes are tallied together. So it's the, the power of the community, the power of crowd. Uh, and that is what, what for me the DAO represents. Uh, the DAO, in my view, is the heart of any blockchain project or a decentralized project for sure. And it gives voice to the community and it gives clarity to the community and it gives involvement to the community and it gives a way in being also accountable to your community as a project. And I think the latter is, is, is quite often overlooked. Yes, it is great to have a tool that provides transparency. Yes, it is great to have a tool that provides people to come forward and to participate and, and engage into the project. But accountability is such an important issue. And if you look at, at let, let, you know, some of the major banks or, or certain politicians or, or larger corporations, they not necessarily, they know what accountability is, but not necessarily provide the accountability that we users and consumers actually demand. So for me, the DAO is also a very crucial um, important vehicle that provides that accountability. And by providing accountability, you pr you provide actually that people participate in, in the DAO and become part of that DAO and become transparent. So that that is sort of a, for me, an important cycle that, that a DAO has. Um, so it provides oversight, it provides management, and it provides an opportunity for, for involvement. Um, secondly, I think it's also important to see that the DAO lowers the barriers. Um, and um, often when people start with blockchain, they think, oh, that's for really smart people. And that's, you know, that's only people who actually know what they're talking about. And they know of all the bits and the bytes. And they know of all the, the intricacies of, of, of a project. No, it's actually an opportunity that provides you, us, you and I, to, to get involved. So it lowers the barriers. Um, and I think that's uh, that's such an important uh, component of the DAO structure. Um, but there's always a but. With a but. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, there's also a but when it comes to DAO. And that's, that's best described in what's called Willy's Paradox. And that's more or less says that if a project is truly decentralized, it will fail because no one is taking charge. If you actually have someone taking charge, then no longer you have a decentralized project. That's called the paradox. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And that's 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 definitely true. Um, but there's ways to mitigate uh, that, and there's ways in actually circumventing those downfalls. So, other than Willis paradox, I also think it's important that that speed. Uh, and decision making, uh, education, having people knowledgeable about what the DAO is, um, the security uh, and integrity uh, of the DAO, um, and a certain degree of inefficiency at times of a DAO. Uh, we always need to be aware of that. But yes, I do believe that DAOs are uh, a crucial part of the blockchain decentralized ecosystem. And I invite and applaud everyone who seeks involvement and who seeks uh, being part of the DAO because we all are the DAO. Beautifully said. Yes, beautifully said. <laughs> and um, yeah, you touched on some great points. I think the great thing about a DAO is great when people have a voice where they feel like they have some sort of part, they can kind of get involved. And PIVX is very big on community. They have such a great community. Right. And um, yeah, right. the, the, the community for PIVX is just insane. So I think yeah. just the whole DAO, and I, I want you to kind of break down the whole, um, you know, with the PIVX Foundation, the whole community, how does it work? Like that, does it do you get what I mean with that question? Oh yeah, that definitely yeah. because the, the the foundation is obviously an, an important part um, of of Pivx uh, as a blockchain, and you know the Pivx community itself is is, is a meritocracy, mm -hmm. and although it's open, uh, anyone can involved. Uh, we we see people having an interest or a contribution on a specific field, uh, mm -hmm. not necessarily is every member of that community involved in every aspect of, um, of the blockchain. 
luckily i'm not involved with being being a programmer or being a developer you know because the, the whole thing will come to a grinding halt within seconds like i i can tell you that it, it, it will be at the end of pivx as we know You're it. right so my my contribution my input my strength if you like lie more in, in governance and community engagement and in DAOs and so forth and so on so i know my restrictions I know my <laughs> And I also know where I can add value. And that's a great thing of a DAO. Everyone can choose his or her own field where he would like to contribute. Um, what we all do is making sure that we leave PIVX slightly better than it was. So we make a contribution in the positive way. We want to build, we want to expand, we want to grow. So that is something uh, uh, important. Individuals like, like you and I, we can actually submit promote proposals into the DAO, which will be voted upon. Mm -hmm. And anyone can submit a proposal. Uh, the master nodes will vote uh, uh, on that. Um, and obviously, once you have one or two projects done, you get a bit more credibility. So it, it's probably a little easier to pass. But we are an open community. Look at things face value. And obviously, good proposals will get voted upon. So the foundation actually facilitates that, that process. But I, if I have to give sort of a, a, a summary of what the foundation is, it's it's sort of you know, it's it's harnessing your energy and convert that into something positive and that yeah. contributes to a better world and a better yeah. environment. As I said, we want to leave PIVX and we want to leave the blockchain ecosystem slightly better than we found it. And if we all do that one bit at a time, yeah. we continuously move forward and we continuously actually improve and grow ourselves. So True. Now when it comes to the, to the foundation, because now that I, I need to expand a little bit more on that, if, if I may. Yeah, of uh, course. The, the foundation is, is more or less a, a I would say, a, a safe space and a playground for, for innovators. People think, I have an idea, I have a suggestion. This is what, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And we do that in the light of, of the, the ethos and of the, the principles we hold dearly within our with our DAO, within our foundation, within our blockchain. So as long as we comply with that uh, and they comply with that, you know, we, we actually, there's a check and balance, uh, uh, if you like, of each other. So we continuously keep that focus on, on working from the right background, working from the right ethos and all, all make sure that we, you know, tip the scale uh, forward all, all the time. Now, the foundation itself, was founded in 2019 and um, which you know in, in in crypto age is is almost like an ice age long so <laughs> what we currently are now looking at is well perhaps we need to have an overhaul that's perhaps a big word we have a, a review of what the foundation is how it operates how it engages with the community so we're now in that process and 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 i would like to play a, a part and a role in that how we can see what the foundation can do for you and what you can do for the foundation mm. uh, because ultimately i think it's important to realize that a DAO and a foundation is is like like george washington famously said in his is get in his get gettysburg address it's 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 of the people it's for the people and it's by the people and mm. and we need to make sure that that we we, we capture that element uh, in a foundation um it is and it should be there um, um, but I'm 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 happy to to think about ways that we need to uh, perhaps tweak or, or upgrade our, our foundation because you need to realize that the ecosystem itself, the space we're in, has changed. Yeah. Uh, the community has changed. I have changed, uh, <laughs> and that needs to be reflected in in the environment and and the foundation of 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 what we do. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, yeah, I agree completely. I do think it's good that the foundation kind of lets people work on their strengths and people can do specific roles that, they, that they're that better at because not everyone's good at everything, right. obviously. So it's cool. And, it, and it, I guess if they're very interested in something and they want to make a change in something, they're more likely to put their energy into that in a positive way. And that way, right. all these little butterfly... What's, the, what's that <laughs> saying about the butterfly effect? All these little things add up to a big thing. Have you right. heard what I mean with the butterfly effect? Um um scenario that people use with all the little things they work they always add up so that's really really cool right. so thank you for explaining the foundation it sounds great um it'll be kind of interesting for you, you to kind of explain what you see for the future of pivx like if you had to if someone gave you 
five years and said, what would you see? What would happen with PIVX? What would change? What would happen with the DAO? What would happen with the community? What do you see happening? Five years from now, I think anyone who has a clear vision of what's going to happen in the blockchain ecosystem five years from now is either an absolute genius or, <laughs> or an absolute lunatic. I mean, there's nothing in between. But let me try <laughs> to put in my five cents. Um, <laughs> Before we, we we can look to the future, let me quickly look in the rearview mirror um, um, and 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 look at what Pivx is uh, and, and what it was. Um, I think what we can assess and establish is that Pivx is is yeah you know, it's, it's it's founded in 2016. It's 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 battle tested. Right? It's 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 proof. Uh, it's um, it has shown its endurance uh, in the market. Bull markets, bear markets, community come and goes, uh, uh, crypto exchanges going bust. We have survived, we have weathered that. Mm -hmm. uh, team members who contributed uh, from day one mm -hmm. are not necessarily longer there. Uh, other people have joined in like me uh, along the way. So there's also a big change of, 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 of people. Um, but what we can say is that Pivx, you know, it's it's a reputable brand, um, it's it's stable, uh, it's it's sound, and um, I think that's that's very important to to appreciate and to realize before we can look to the future. So yeah. look, looking forward to the future, um, I think whatever happens is that Pivx will will stick to its core principles and and foundations. Um, with which means privacy will be an important issue, decentralization will be an important issue, community aspect will be an important issue. Mm. Um, there will be ups and downs for sure. I mean that that you know even FTX for instance two weeks ago, you know who, who could Shock. see that coming? Uh, and and you know it, it set the whole ecosystem back years almost. One hundred percent. Yeah. So no one saw that coming. At least I didn't. Uh, I, I didn't. Surprised. Yeah, exactly. I'm surprised. Very shocking. Um, but luckily, you know, Pivx is robust, it's stable, it, it, it can't go bust. Um, there is, there, there's funding within the treasury, which is safe and secured. So in that sense, our future is extremely bright. That's, that's good. Um, I also believe that um, um, we will continue in, in working further on getting the DAO stronger, um, because the DAO obviously is, is, is an entity of trust. Right? Yeah. It empowers you, it empowers I and, and the whole community. So it's an entity of trust. Mm -hmm. So it, it further helps prepare Pivx for that for that future. Um, but if, if you look at what 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 focus points or focal points, I would say Pivx would have to to, to go by the next two years. Uh, it would be um, uh, three things predominantly. I would say that's liquidity, um, adaptation. Um, and network stability, and, and 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 let me quickly talk a little longer on that. But li liquidity, um, I think it's important that we seek listings. Um, it's important to have listings in as, as many uh, uh, centralized as well as decentralized uh, exchanges as possible. Yeah. Um, liquidity simply helps. Secondly, adaptation, use cases. Um, you can have the greatest technology, but if no one uses it, you know, it's it's. Um, it always reminds me of that old example when when people had had VCR. You're probably too too young to remember what a video recorder is, but you know I do. <laughs> and, and you had a couple of systems there, and and Philips uh, had a, the the 2000 system, which was was the best. Uh, ultimately, uh, an inferior system, Betamax, uh, uh, lost as well, and VHS, you know, um, uh, was was the system ultimately an inferior system. Uh, so you need to make sure that we have actual use cases and we yeah. promote those use cases and we facilitate use in those those use cases. But also, I think it's it's what I said earlier that we need to kick the can further down the road and leave Pivx slightly better than that we found it. So have a sustainable and a secure and a stable network, work on security, work on improvement and work on stability. But last, but by no means least, and I think that is actually um, the most superseding uh, priority for Pivx is that the community involvement uh, is, is important. We are a DAO, we are decentralized. You and I and the rest of the community, we should get involved. We should become part of Pivx and mm -hmm. we should actually be involved, um, volunteer, uh, engage in activities 
and volunteer ideas. So go down. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. That is amazing. That is amazing. Okay, so yeah, you've mentioned some really, really great points. Um, It'll be great to see what happens in the future, but I think we're definitely in the right direction. Um, right. It's really, really interesting because PIVX was one of the first, first um tokens that I got when I got to crypto space. I got to a crypto space about a year and a half, two years ago. Yep. And PIVX was one of my first tokens. And I remember jumping on my YouTube channel and making a video about PIVX. And I love yep. PIVX because I love the whole be your own bank, have control of your whole digital assets. And, and it's so great to see, um, of course, a, a lot of changes, a, a different team, a lot of things have come about since then. But it's really, really um, great speaking to you, Hans, because I love um, what you're saying about the DAO and I love what you're going to do with the DAO and the community because um, PIVX have such a great community here and it will be so interesting to see what the future holds and everything. So yeah. it's, it's been great. It's been an absolute yeah. pleasure. I commend you on your uh, on your choice and selection of uh, the first coin, PIVX. Great show as well. <laughs> yeah, it was one of my first coins. I was sold when I was sold when I saw Be Your Own Bank. I love stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> like what you know like you know that saying of, of the modern day pirates <laughs> that's what they yeah. say about people in the crypto space yeah. I yeah. Love that. Yeah. and it's funny because a lot of my friends are not in the crypto space they haven't really they haven't discovered it yet they haven't understood it even though i've explained yeah. it they're just like they're just not really into it so it's kind of it's kind of very very interesting so um yeah it's great to see the whole community and the whole dao and everything so yeah everyone should get involved right. And brilliant. thank you so much for your time. I wish we could speak longer, but I know we will definitely speak again um, for much no longer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we'll schedule time. We'll definitely do a catch up and see how everything is going. But welcome to PIVX. Um, I hope you're loving it and enjoying it. And we're so glad to have you here. So um, yeah. it's been a pleasure. <laughs> It's absolutely likewise my, my pleasure. And if I may steal one more minute. Uh, of course, the, yes, yes. For, yes. Clo for closing, um, I think, you know, because I'm sure that, that really seasoned and experienced blockchain and crypto people are watching this, but also novices. And and to everyone, I would like to say, let, remember those three golden rules, not your keys, not, not your, your coins. coins. Yes. Do your own do your own research and only invest in what you can afford to lose. And exactly. When, and when it comes to, to PIVX, you know, someone told me once that that um when it comes to privacy, uh we need to make sure that that if I give you a five or, or ten pound note, mm. no one knows that's between you and I. Yeah, no one tracks where that, that note. Yeah, we should provide that same level of freedom. We should provide that same level of comfort uh, to people, um, and that is precisely what PIVX uh, provides. You can choose to do that. You cannot choose to do that. It's up to you. So yes. you are in control via cell, uh, zero knowledge proof and self sovereign and self sovereignty. And with that, I would like to say, PIVX, think about it. Yes, I love that. I'm, I, do you know, I'm so glad you dropped in, not your keys, not your coins. I've been talking about that a lot um, lately, with yes. especially with the whole FTX um, yeah. bankruptcy. Massive, massive shock. Um, yeah. So many people held their coins in FTX. It was one of, I think they said, the second biggest exchange. Um, right. So it's crazy how big it is. And I know a lot of people are not going to get their coins back, which is devastating. Right. Um, is. For everything that's happened. So it's, it's so sad. But it does take you to the whole... Um, Point that you just made not your keys not your coins it does and it's really it's really really sad because obviously and i think now with everything that happened with ftx it is going to urge exchanges to have a lot more transparency i know cz is making people it's talking about exchanges having more transparency and letting people know more stuff but there's always gonna be things we don't know yeah, so um right. yeah not your keys not your coins and i think that's a great thing about pivx um with the whole privacy with the whole protection of your funds like literally so yeah definitely Thank yeah. you and so, Pivx, so Pivx much. Payfix has, has, has a great wallet, right? It, it, it gives you an opportunity to, 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 to do staking. Uh, you, you can set up your masternode. Uh, it has a really great wallet. So, you know, it's it's the infrastructure is there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So people do your research, do your research and, you know, make it happen. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much once again for coming on and stuff. I know you're a very busy person, so I appreciate having you here. It's been a absolutely pleasure. It was absolutely my pleasure. And I, I look forward to chatting again, Kathy. Yeah, definitely. We'll definitely chat again. I'm going to hold you to it. Definitely. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Thank <laughs> you.
Bye. Bye. Bye.